better to never make a promise in the first place than to make a promise and then later break it. Jesus said these words about marriage. Whatever God has brought together, let no one separate. Because the promises that you're about to make are so important. I want to clearly communicate to you and all of your friends and family Christ's view of marriage and what the Bible teaches about the commitments you are making today. What God wants for your marriage is that for you to be a marriage, that, to build a marriage that is guided by his word and grounded in his love. See, God guides us by his word on how to build a successful marriage. In fact, your marriage is so important to God that it was one of the first things that he talked about in the Bible. From the very first pages of the Bible, in the book of Genesis, God gives us these instructions on what a marriage is to look like. In Genesis chapter 2, it says this, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother, be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. In this passage alone, there are three wonderful marriage principles. The first one is where he says, a man will leave father and mother. This idea of leaving is that when you get married, in a sense, you're leaving behind all other relationships. Now the truth is our connection to our families is one of the strongest connections that we have. 